Hello, this is Jessica Clark, the band director for Freedom and Heritage Middle Schools in District 100. Thank you for joining me as I take you through how to rent an instrument with Quinlan and Fabish. First, we are going to type in qandf.com. This is the page that you should get. Today, we are going to start our band journey with Quinlan and Fabish. So we're going to click rent a band instrument. Then it goes through all of the different kind of things that you will get to choose today, which is great. Uh, the first thing you'll see is the introductory period, uh, the introductory trial. So all rentals that you're doing today, no matter what instrument, it has a four month introductory trial. So that what you pay today covers you for all of September, October, November, and December. Starting in January, you will pay a smaller monthly fee. And we'll go into that when we look over our contract later. Um, if at any time you decide that you want to pay off the instrument in full, Quinlan and Fabish uh, gives you the opportunity to do so, and they give you the bonus of getting a 25% discount if you decide to pay off the instrument in full at any time. So it doesn't have to be today, but at any time if you want to uh, – pay off the full instrument, you'll get 25% off. They also do a maintenance and replacement coverage, which is absolutely awesome. It's built into your monthly fee that you pay, and it covers anything that might need to be broken, or anything that gets broken, anything that might need to be replaced, um, same as you would with a car when you take it in for repair. It's also great that whenever those accidents occur, or whenever anything needs to be replaced or fixed, uh, you don't have to bring it to the Quinlan and Fabish store yourself. You get to just bring it to school, and we have a Quinlan and Fabish representative that comes to Freedom and Heritage once a week, and you get a loaner, same as you would with a car while yours is being replaced. So we're going to go ahead and click Start a Band Rental Instrument. Uh, let's get started. We're going to type in a school. You can type in Freedom or uh, you could type in whichever school you're at. I'm going to type in Heritage Middle School here. And you'll see a bunch of Heritages, but we want to make sure we click the same, the correct one for Freedom or for Berwyn. So same thing with Freedom. If we type in Freedom, it'll show you Berwyn. So today I'm just going to be Heritage. We got Berwyn. And then we will click submit. Next, you're going to see my name, uh, Jessica Clark. That is me. That is great. That is exactly what we want. We're going to go ahead and click select. And then you're going to see a Q page. It's kind of like our home page for all things me and all things District 100. So we'll see 7th grade, 8th grade, and then we are 6th grade. And you'll see both schools are listed for everything. We're going to, again, click rent an instrument. It'll take us to a new tab, and that's okay. So this is where you want to double-check with your student which instrument that they chose. Okay, they could choose any one of these. Uh, don't choose French horn, unfortunately. That is not one of our choices this year. Um, the percussion kit, you do get everything that you see here. It does come in the little suitcase. Uh, so you do get the practice snare drum pad. You get the small bell kit as well as the mallets to go with it. Um, so for today's purposes, I'm going to be a clarinet, so I'm going to click select item. And it will take us to step two, which is select your delivery timing requirements. We want our instruments as soon as possible, as fast as we can get them. It will take about two weeks to get them, and that's okay. Quinlan and Fabish is super busy because everybody is starting band right now. We will click continue to confirm supplies. As we do this, uh, everything here you are purchasing. These will be yours to own. The instrument is the only thing that you are renting. So the music stand, if you already have a music stand at home, you do not have to get this. Okay, but I highly recommend it for everybody else just so you're not using a pillow as a music stand when you're playing your instrument. Um, we don't use the iPads very much in band, so we do have an actual textbook. Okay, this is our Essential Elements book. And then each instrument has their own kit. Um, everybody has a little bit of different things. Uh, clarinets have reeds because that's what actually helps the instrument make the sound. It has a, um, 
a case for the reeds to go in and then a swab so you can clean out your instrument every instrument has their own kit that is about the same things so all three of these are required unless you already have a music stand so we do want to include them in the cart and we will click continue to sign the rental agreement Next, we're going to go ahead and sign our rental agreement and fill everything out here. Um, I will fill it out too, but none of this is real information for me. So student name, um, I will be the student. So student name, okay, so I'll be the parent. Um, and then my phone number, we'll put in a phone number here. And then an email. This is the email address that you will get all of your billing statements to. You do not have to put your social security number in fully. So you can either choose to put your driver's license or the last four digits of your social security number. So either one. You do not have to put the full one. You can also fill out a second parent and guardian with all of the same information. Again, you do not need to put the social security number in there. Um, fully so you could do either one you could do both but as long as there's one okay uh, so then this goes uh, this shows you what you're actually paying for today you like in this instant I'm paying for a clarinet today I will be paying $72 for the four month introductory period so again that covers September October November and December so then starting in January I will pay $39 a month and this is every month until it is paid off so it's the same as a car the way that you do rent to own with a car um, that is exactly what you're doing with these instruments here um, so everything I just said goes into detail here with late charges so you want to agree to those terms and conditions at any time you do have that option to purchase the instrument fully um, it is not required. You could do it at any time. It usually takes, a, if you choose to do the monthly payments, it usually takes about three years to fully pay it off. Um, but if you choose to pay it off early, pay off the remaining balance, you will get that 25% off. Um, and in this case, a clarinet is $799 and then it applies taxes. Um, this goes into more detail about the maintenance and replacement. Uh, so anytime that something needs repair, like a pad uh, needs to be replaced or a key gets bent or something gets broken, it happens. Um, I'm never upset if it happens. Kids just got to be upfront with me if it does happen. Uh, and then anytime the instrument needs to be serviced or in case something horrible happens where the uh, instrument needs to be replaced, um, they will do that. This also does cover uh, if the instrument is lost or stolen. You are required to fill out a police report if it is lost or stolen, um, but Quillen and Fabish will still replace it. If you'd like to watch the video about this poor trumpet, go for it. Um, so you, I would highly, highly suggest to everybody that you do desire maintenance and replacement coverage. This is something I think everybody should do. That $5 a month is already included in your monthly payment. So there is no additional charge for it. It's a great thing to do. Um, so you're going to go ahead and sign it and date it. We'll pick a date. And then you're going to say, I understand by typing in my name and clicking the box that I am electronically signing this document and this is your contract until the instrument is paid off. So we're going to sign the agreement and go to the cart. Okay, so in your cart, you should see the kit for your instrument. Again, this will be different and a different price for every instrument. Everybody should have a book, the Essential Elements book. The music stand is optional. And then you should see your rental. So then it tells you your grand total, and we're going to go ahead and proceed to check out. Next, it's going to ask you to type in your email address, and this will be creating an account for you. Um, use whichever email that you prefer to get your bills sent to or your statement. Um, and if Quinlan and Fabish ever has anything go wrong uh, or they need to contact you, this is the email address that they will use. So you're going to go ahead and click Next. It will then send you an email confirmation. And it will look like this. It'll look something like this from no reply at qnf.com. Um, and you'll click activate your account. 
and then uh, it'll ask you to create a password, whichever password you would like, and then you'll log in. So then when we get to the delivery preference, we want to ship it to the school. We want to deliver it to the school. By deliver having it delivered to the school, we don't have to worry about it getting lost by UPS or anything like that. And that way you guys don't have to worry about bringing the instrument to school and remembering what day. So we do that. Um, select the school. Where'd that go? The school name, put whatever school you go to. Again, I'm Heritage today, so we're going to make sure we click the Berwyn one. And then your billing address. Okay, you'll fill that out. That's your name. Leave this blank. Leave this blank. Okay. You don't have to put anything in there. That is fine. Uh, the address, that's your address. This is not my address, but that's okay. I used an example one. So then it'll have all of your information. And then we go over to the right side here, and it gives you your grand total for everything for the day. And then we are going to put in our credit card information. I will not do that. Um, if you do the safe payment method, uh, it will automatically uh, deduct each month. But again, there is no other charge that needs to be put on your card until January. All right, so then after that, you will click place your order, and you are done. So after you have placed the order, the next couple things are all for me uh, because I do not work with Quinlan and Fabish, so all of your email and everything that you put in here, I do not get that because I do not work with Quinlan and Fabish. They are just our vendor. So um, in, your, in the email with this video link, it also sent you a survey that's all about you, um, it's very important that this gets filled out so I know that you guys went through the registration process. So it has questions about your student's name. Um, this is also so I can get all of the parent emails. Um, you can put multiples in there. Um, I got to know what school you went to, uh, who your student's Excel teacher is, um, what their uh, exploratory classes are, and then uh, I need to know which instrument they picked. Um, and then if there's anything that you would like me to know about you guys, uh, as in, like, uh, if you have played an instrument before, if you have absolutely no experience, that's okay, that's great, that's what we want, um, or just anything fun fact about you, that is great. The next thing that you're going to do, I sent a list on how to join Remind. Uh, it's instructions on how to do this. Uh, Remind is the great way that I use to communicate with everybody. Um, I have not sent, as of right now, I have not sent a message, but I like to send messages saying, don't forget your instrument. These are the lessons for the day. I will send out the lesson schedule through Remind. Um, so our class codes and everything are in that link I sent about Remind. The last link that I sent to you is your lesson schedule. It shows you when you will uh, meet for your instrument. So this is example, this is the heritage one. Uh, all instruments are going to be meeting at 150, which is during fourth block uh, on Tuesday. And then we start breaking into our lessons. Hopefully we have our instruments by this day. If not, we can, we will still have a lesson um, and we will have lots of fun with it. So uh, flutes will meet at this time, oboes will meet at that time, saxophones, trumpet, trombone, euphonium, so on and so forth. And then you'll see each month goes by, I try to keep ahead of it. Um, and then Freedom, same thing. So on Wednesday, Freedom will have their first meeting of all the instruments. Then on Tuesday, we'll meet with flutes and oboes, then clarinets and saxophones, uh, and then same times. And then again, I keep ahead of it. I try to look through it. Um, this is open to anybody to look at. Uh, the kids have QR codes around the school that they will see this with. and. Um, it's also in the announcements for the kids every day and again I use remind because it helps the most with communicating when all of these lessons are so I'm super excited to have your student as part of band here at uh, Freedom and Heritage I cannot wait this is going to be one of my biggest bands that I've had and I'm super excited so again uh, any questions comments concerns send me an email and I will get back to you as soon as I can have a great day everybody